five minute cool down routine. Let's go. Hi guys, my name is Ben Parks, 236 marathoner and ultra runner. Now what I want to talk to you today about is cooling down after a run. Really important to try and do this. It's kind of a bit of a personal preference thing. Some people really like doing it, some people just want to get back inside. But I really like just to bring my heart rate down nice and slowly and just sort of don't let my muscles sort of just go from being, you know, going through loads of load just to nothing really quickly. It's just a gradual sort of slow down process and really sort of helps again with that injury, injury prevention in my opinion. So again, this is just the routine that I do, that I really like to do. Um, follow it along if you want to, you know, take bits out of it that, that you think are gonna work well for you. So without further ado, let's get going. So number one. Now this is just super quick. It goes kind of without saying, you don't want to just go from running flat out to going to your warm down routine straight away. So you just want to do a little cool down sort of jog or even walk just to get that heart rate from, you know, it might've been up at 150, 160 beats a minute as you're running, just to bring that back down to sort of that resting pace of um, sort of 70, 80 beats a minute. So yeah, super quick, super easy, warm down jog, just relaxed, take it, yeah, take it nice and steady. Number two. So what we're gonna do now is to stretch out our quads. Now these take a real sort of battering as we're running, so they become super tight, so it's really good to stretch them out post run. So really important, a lot of people uh, when they do this are Sort of get in this position and then sort of hike up like this and doing all, all of these sorts of things like this now when i do sort of all of my static stretching i like to put my body in positions that it's used to when it's running so i think it's best just to keep that knee out in front and then um, have your ankle coming in just to your bum there which is a very sort of natural position to be in as you're running so just hold it like that probably for about 10 15 20 seconds and stand there on one foot. Also very good for your ankle stability as well on your other foot. Number three is gonna be the good old calf stretch. Probably the first stretch we all learned to do in school, um, working those calves, getting them nice and stretched out after our run. So what you wanna be doing is finding somewhere um, or finding something to lean against. Um, I haven't really got anything here, so I just pretend. So you wanna be putting that sort of one leg out in front, one leg back, keeping that back leg nice and straight there, and then your ankle um, on the floor there, and leaning into, uh, yeah, whatever, basically whatever you're leaning into. Hold that stretch there for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then switch over, Fr front leg nice and, nice and sort of solidly into the ground there and then back again that trailing leg nice and straight ankle on the floor and pushing against it something you'll feel that nice stretch down the back of your calf muscle there number four is the good old hip flexor stretch really good to get these nice and loosened up after a run they get a bit can get a little bit tight as you're going through so we, what the best thing to do for this is find a nice sort of wide area to uh, do this in then you want to lean forward and out plant that leading foot there and then drop the trailing knee down to the floor and just sort of lean forward slightly you should feel that stretch stretch just at the top of your hips here and going down um, the top of your quads as well just hold that there for about 10 to 15 seconds and then you can switch over to the other side feels really nice just at the top of the hips there and there we go Number five is gonna be a hamstring stretch. 
really common injury for runners is to get injured in your hamstrings. So again, super important to stretch this out after your run. So super simple, it's probably the most easiest stretch you could ever do. Um, all you're trying to do is basically, you're not trying to, but trying to pretend you're gonna to touch your toes. Some people can do this, some people can't. My flexibility is really bad. So just lean forward and just, you don't wanna be bobbing up and down like this. Just let yourself drop down, let your hands drop down and just feel that stretch nicely in the back of your legs there on your hamstrings. Number six. So the last one we're gonna do here is just an exercise I like to do just to stre stretch out your lower back. Again, for runners always suffering with lower back problems, so really good to try and incorporate this into your warm down routine. So what you wanna do, sit in a kneeling position, sort of feet out and then put your bum um, onto the top of your feet like that, and then just walk your hands out until you get to this sort of pose and then you just feel that nicely there in your lower back and then you just want to hold that stretch there for again about 10 15 maybe even 20 seconds or so so there we go guys six super easy warm down stretches that you can do to build into your routine. I really like them, I think they work really well for me. So let me know what works for you down in the comments below. Also, if there's anything else you'd like to see in future videos, let me know in the comments as well. So thanks very much for following along guys. Please hit the subscribe button below to get notifications about when all the new videos are coming out. And also give me a like if you like this kind of video. I'll see you in the next one.